In today's video, I'm going to share with you my favorite defense for defending trips tight end right now in Madden 22. Now, if you are new to the channel, I want to encourage you to hit that subscribe button below. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel, and it just allows you to be able to stay up to date with the latest tips and tricks that I release every single day here on the YouTube channel. Now, in this video, we're taking a look at the Chicago Bears defensive playbook. We're going to be talking about the nickel uh, 335 will formation. And we're actually going to be talking about a coverage defense that I absolutely love out of this formation. We're going to be talking today about the cover four palms and how it is a very effective defense for defending the trips tight end formation. Now, if you want to get my entire nickel 335 will defensive guide, I'm going to put a link to my Patreon membership in the description of this video, and you can get that for just uh, $10 a month. $10 a month is not only going to get you the nickel 335 will ebook, but it's actually going to get you all 15 of my Madden 22 offensive and defensive ebooks, as well as any updates or new ebooks that I release while your subscription is active. We actually just put a major, major update to our match defenses uh, in the in the um, in the Patreon membership. So if you're looking to get better in this game, I would really, really encourage you uh, to sign up for that. We literally walk you through a process that not only teaches you what to do, but teaches you why it works, how it works, and everything that you need to know about the counters to it. So if you want to check all that stuff out, again, I'm going to put a link to that in the description. And it's only $10 for, for all of it. So a really good deal, in my opinion. Now, what we're going to do, uh, what I wanted to teach uh, in today's video, I'm actually going to go ahead and grab a couple of different match defenses because I want to teach two, uh, kind of a distinction between quarters and palms uh, in terms of how it defends trips tight end. Now, trips tight end... Uh, is is arguably one of the best offenses. If you're not running bunch, chances are you're probably running either a trips tight end or a bunch tight end. Now, uh, what I want to hit on really quickly here is the tight end post. So this is one of the most popular concepts out of trips tight end. It's a slant from the uh, inside slot and a post to the tight end. I think this is one of the best concepts in Madden 22. And I'm going to go ahead and call cover four quarters. I want you to watch how this plays it. What you're going to notice here is you're going to get this pass off logic to the three rec, and the three rec is going to take him across formation. Now that's really, really, really good as long as you are on the right hash mark. The problem is when you're on this side of the field, all of a sudden the principles of this coverage, for whatever reason, can kind of dumb out. This is why spamming buttons, uh, who I would argue is the best trip side end player in the world, uh, does a lot of trips concepts to this side of the field. Now you're going to see that three rec doesn't guard him. Nobody does actually, and that post is wide open. So what we want to do in this video is kind of piece together um, a concept with you and kind of share a little bit of a distinction. So now what I want to show you is when we call the cover four palms, what you're going to notice is you get a little bit different principles, okay? And it's kind of similar to bunch tight end. So the principles that you're going to get here is, especially if you blitz your user, which we'll cover that in just a second, uh, but what you're going to see here is that this outside corner will actually carry that tight end post all the way across the formation and oftentimes will be able to put himself in a position where he can kind of bait that throw into happening. So as you can see right there, Patrick Sertan took Gronkowski across the formation and was able to cover the post route fairly well. Obviously with your user in the middle kind of, kind of helping a little bit, um, it would have been just fine. Now, if I'm on the left hash mark and I'm in color four palms, I want to show you it's basically exactly the same thing. You see the three rec helps but doesn't really cover it, and but the, but the outside quarter doesn't leave it, right? He carries that across the formation. So that's kind of step one or part A of this coverage and why uh, I like it so much is that it can defend the tight end post route. It can defend the tight end post route no matter what. Also, another popular route from, uh, from this is a tight end corner route. You're going to notice cover four palms does a really good job at taking that away. Kind of looks open and then he'll bait it and take it away. So we, what I love about this trips tight end and something that you have to understand is trips tight end kind of hinges off of two primary receivers, the tight end and the inside slot. Those are the two main receivers. You can't use or both of them, right? You can't use or both of them. So that route is going to be guarded. Now another thing that you get out of cover four palms is this quarter flat on the left side. Let's say, for example, we run a concept that looks like this. You're going to notice that the quarter flat on the left side is going to carry that, and he's going to take him to the corner and oftentimes be able to make a pretty good football play on that player. 
So we have the number two receiver kind of locked down as well. Let me show you another popular concept right here. Ignore the crosser for just a second, but what you're going to see here is this is pretty good coverage across the middle of the field, and we're going to be able to take away that in route, and we're going to be able to take away the flat, which is so hard to guard. So that being said, it kind of leaves us with essentially one player that can cause us problems in this formation, and that just happens to be the number three receiver. So what I like to do with my cover four palms is I like to go ahead and user this safety right here, and I always want to blitz him. What this is going to do is it's going to tell that outside quarter on the right, hey, this guy's blitzing, so he's not going to do his job. So you need to kind of overcompensate with the tight end. So if the tight end, for example, um, let me show you something. So like, let's say the tight end goes on a drag. Watch this right quick. You're going to see the three rep guards him. But if, it, if, it, if I was in an inside quarter, the three rep would actually require me to guard him. I'll show you what I mean. So uh, let's say we put that tight end on a drag again. And what you're going to see now is the three wrecks not going to guard him, but the safety is responsible. So see that little trick? So that's just something that I like to kind of, um, that's just something that I kind of like to do because it does help the coverage. So as you can see here, this guy is, is now uh, responsible for, uh, the, that three wreck is now going to really take the shallow crossers on either direction of the, of the formation. Um, so what I like to do off of this, though, is a couple things, okay? We can three-wreck one of our defensive linemen if we want to. So uh, I like to actually go ahead and uh, man up this linebacker in the middle field on um, Chris Godwin. I like to go ahead and take the defensive end on the right side of the screen and either put him in a vertical hook or a hard flat to kind of help a little bit with the rollout. And then the defensive end on the on the left side of the screen was actually a linebacker. Um, I I want to put him in a three rack, so a bluff blitz. So you see right there, I bluff blitzed him. Now all I have to do with my user is cover a crossing route from the circle receiver. So you'll see right here, literally all I have to do is kind of help on this. It's basically triple teamed across the field. And as you can see, it's pretty much locked down. If you don't want to man that guy up on the number three, you don't have to, but it does increase your user responsibility. Um, and so what I would do in that situation is maybe drop the defensive end on the right side of the screen in the three rec so he can take the running back or something and then you know drop this other side linebacker uh, into a, you know, a vertical hook or something like that. Uh, you could also, the cool part about this middle linebacker is you can man him up too. So that's a middle linebacker. So you could put a, a guy there that has some coverage and uh, you can go ahead and man him up onto the circle receiver. So now, you know, something like this, it makes it a lot harder of a throw. The corner route's not as open as it was before when you man him up, okay? Obviously, but again, it, it just comes down to defending that number three receiver, honestly, if you think a little, if you think a little bit about this formation. Now you might be saying, well, that's all good, but what about a what about a deep post to the tight end or the not tight end, but the uh, solo the, the outside receiver? So what if they do something like this? Well, uh, remember your concept, right? Remember your concept. You don't have to worry about a slant route. So if it's not a deep crosser, you don't have to worry about it. So I can bail to the post. Obviously, we still have good coverage, but in that scenario, I can bail to the post and I have pretty good coverage across the board. Um, what about verticals? Well, verticals, kind of similar. We showed this a little bit, but let's say like they put a little running back running back option route uh, on the field here. And if you take a look here, you're going to notice that that, that quarter flat's going to take him. You're taking a circle, and everything else is pretty much taken care of. So there's a lot of power in this defense. Now, uh, I did want to did want to leave you hanging here. I want to give you uh, a tip in the scenario that they maybe do a little motion. Okay, so you're standing right here. Your user is in a three rack. Okay, what I like to do, or not, not in a three rack. Your user is in an inside quarter. So let's say that they go with a little bit of a motion concept. Let's say they go with a little, you know, X spot type of thing or something like this, like that. Okay, what I like to do in this scenario is if they motion a player, we're gonna actually three rack the defensive end on the running back side. So they're gonna motion, we're gonna three wreck, re-inside quarter this guy and click onto this guy. And what you're gonna do now is use her over here. And what you're gonna see is you're gonna kinda take these crossers. And as you see, the coverage is gonna do really well. So 
that's how I like to run cover four palms, at least a little bit of a concept. We actually did like a 45 minute update on defending trips tied in with this defense as well as some other stuff. Actually, I think it was over an hour um, walking through literally the process and showing the routes, showing everything the offense can do. So that's just kind of one little nugget of what you get in the Patreon. You get that stuff every week. So if you want to sign up for the Patreon, there's a link in the description of the video for just $10 a month. Uh, you're going to unlock everything that we have over there. Thanks for watching the video. I really hope that this defense helped you. Let me know if it did or not in the comments. And uh, if you want to check out that Patreon, there's a link in the description for you.